Okay, good morning, folks. It's February the 4th. It's 8.30 in the morning. It's cold today. It's 26 degrees. The wind's blowing pretty good out there on the main lake. I came in here, anchored up on a bank, or just beached it on a bank. I'm going to do some anchor fishing. Water temperature's 41 degrees. Um, again, I've got uh, two rods with eight-odd hooks and bigger baits, two rods with six-odd hooks and smaller baits. I'm going to get them out, see what the fish want. Hopefully they'll want something. Uh, but we'll just experiment and see what we can do. Getting a bite on this far left rod. There we go. Pulling like a pretty good one. Oh, coming at me. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Better use the net. That. Need longer arms. Come on, buddy. Hang on. Caught that on a one of the larger baits. Kind of like the three stooges there. All right, that's a nice little fish. You hear that? You know what he's saying? Eat more chicken. Let's see what it weighs. Seventeen pounds and two ounces. Nice fish to start today. We'll let him go. Go back to fight another day.
Not a bad little fish. See if we can get this one in without making as big a mess as we did the last time. Another decent fish. Beats those little five and six pounders that's been plaguing me lately. Let's see what it weighs. Sixteen point two pounds. Pretty close to the other one. These are nice fish. Wouldn't mind catching a mess of those all day long. Back in the water. Bite over here. And here. Starting to bite a little better. It's now about 9.45. We've been here about an hour and 15 minutes. We've caught a 17 and a 16. I usually don't stay this long in one spot unless I'm having pretty good uh, Pretty good luck catching a lot of fish. But about every time I get up and get ready to move the or take the rods in to make a move, I'll start to get a bite. It's just these little uh, jabs, but it's enough to keep me sitting here for a while. Just like this one. Small fish. Those better fish, 10 pounds and over, usually if they take it, they take it. That's not always true. I had one one night just doing that, just kept pecking at it, kept pecking at it. Finally wore me out. I thought I'm going to get that bait out of there. I'm tired of this. Raised up on it. Fish was there. Got it in. Weighed 36 pounds. So they don't always slam it. Same rod, same spot.
This one's not very big. All three of those fish, though, have been uh, caught on that same rod in that same spot out there with a fairly large shad head on an 8 aught hook. That's the magic rod today. And his belly's full of air, and he wouldn't be able to go back down. So I use that tube, it lets that air out of his gut, doesn't hurt him, and he can swim back down. Otherwise that fish would just lay on top of the water and probably die. I'll give you a little tour of my boat. As you can see it's filthy. I've had it on my uh, boat lift at the dock haven't had an opportunity to clean it. Forward cabin. You see me sitting in those front uh, console seats this time of the year, trying to get back in that enclosure. Got my little heater there. I'm just anchored up on the bank. I just run the boat up on the bank and uh, beach it, basically. Sometimes I might uh, tie off to one side if the wind's kind of blowing me. But uh, that's pretty much it. Got my camera bag there, my bait tank. Or not bait tank, but uh, bait cooler. So squeaky lid. There's my bait. I keep them in those buckets. There's holes on the in the bottom of those buckets so that uh, the juices can drain out. I keep ice underneath. I keep the plug open on the cooler so the water drains out and the shad don't get waterlogged. That's pretty much the setup. Magic rod again, magic bait. I don't think this one's very big. I think that fish was on there the whole time. It just wasn't running with it.
Oh, what's that? Uh, four or five pounder. This is what I was saying before. See how muddy the belly is on that fish? That fish has been right on the bottom. See how fat? Bloated with air. <coughs> Hear that? That's all that air coming out of the gut. Came up from deep water. Back she goes. Oh, I was sitting there messing with my camera. I just changed the battery. And it went down. Probably ought to net this fish. But I'm not going to. Got a bite over here. Not a nice little blue. Nothing huge, but I hear you. I know what you're saying. They know what you're saying. We're going to do that. Getting a bite right here. And get rid of that one. takedown. This is the magic spot. I threw one further that way, but this is where in the area I was catching those bigger fish, but now they're they're both on this side going. I think I need to move my boat a little further that way on the bank, but the problem is it's all a rock uh, bluffy area and there's nowhere to, to sort of beach my boat. This is a little cut in here with a little shallower area. I need to quit talking and start fishing.
If I sit down, I'll catch one. I told you. If I sit down, the rod will go down. On this left side of the boat again. Another decent little fish. Decent little fish, five pounds or so. That fish was a little shallower. It's not all bloated up with air. Off she goes. Okay, it's right at 11 o'clock. I've been here at this spot longer than I usually ever sit at a spot, but I've had some bites. Caught a few fish. I've never been here before. This is the first time I've uh, fished this spot. I'm going to reel them in, uh, just kind of scout around in this area, see if I can find another spot to beach it, uh, get them back out. Okay, it's 11.20. I just moved down the bank uh, maybe 100, 150 yards from where I was. It's uh, There's a little deeper hole out here, so I think the baits are going to be a little deeper yet than they were over there. I think I was probably fishing over there anywhere from 35 to 45 feet deep. Here I think I'm going to uh, hit that 50 to 55 foot mark, so we'll see what happens. Grabbed uh, several fish out there, so we'll see if we can make them bite. Oh, got him! I don't think he's very big. I know he's not very big. take it though. He's got a bunch of bumps on him. Little one. Well folks it's about one o'clock. Uh, the wind's picking up. Feels like the temperature's dropping. I may just be getting uh, cold to the bone. But uh, at any rate, it's cold, it's getting windy, 
I went to another spot a little shallower, tried that, never even got a touch. So I think the fish are deep, uh, uh, they're very lethargic, uh, not biting real well, but we caught a few fish, uh, a couple of decent fish, had a good time. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please hit the subscribe button or the uh, thumbs up button. And I appreciate you being with me.